Well, I must say, I've thoroughly enjoyed this tournament. I suspected that the start of my part because I've seen now four of them, and last year, getting many fewer goals, it seemed to me that there was no question but that the players had become a bit too sophisticated, a bit too defensive, and the simple experience of uh, writing the goals has created enormous difference. He's open and exciting, and the goals have come quickly and half score. Gary Mackay. One nothing. Right through the legs. Oh, that's unlike Jim Layton. Very good start by the end of the side in 28 seconds. Biggest goal scorer. Ooh, that was almost in. Robertson there and Layton down, and the Aberdeen defence looked quite uncertain. Joe Miller. Oh, that's the bad one. Yes. That would seem to me to be a sin, but is it going to be. No. Just an honoring word. And I think he scored. That quite superb, stunning, and very late goal against them. Their flag. And to be honest, Aberdeen toiled and struggled to beat Hamilton. Joe Miller. Yes. I think last year they wouldn't have tried that kind of shot. The goals were just that little bit narrow. Now they're trying them from way out. And a kind of little speech there. That's obstruction. Alec McLeese has been the main day of this uh, Aberdeen side. He's taken on the mantle of captain very seriously and deep led by example. We're actually watching the winners of the previous two competitions. Robertson in on that. Aberdeen last year and half the year before that. have got their loyal supporters here tonight and indeed many thousands more would like to have come through they simply couldn't get tickets maximum of 7,000 in the hall Watson it really was easy to observe the time as in the last match at least have had the advantage of the longer rest. Just the luck of the draw in that respect. There's Black. Now John Robertson. Just try the rebound. Already wanting to fight back as quickly as they can. The game settles into a pattern as it did against Hamilton. With Hamilton organizing themselves very well in defense. It's difficult to break out of that rut. Watson, ex Aberdeen player. Gary Mackay. He'll shoot from there with his left foot. There's Robertson. And he's done it. He took everybody on. I thought he was flattered it in himself, Mackay. Deciding to reverse the direction. Just when he was shaping for one of these right footed shots of his, which he specializes in. Drifted it to the side, and there was Robinson. Gently finished, and Hearts are now looking very good indeed. Portius. 
Well, Aberdeen and Hearts will hopefully be playing on Wednesday night. What's a good save by Henry Smith. Mackay. Deciding to break on his own. Right into the crowd. Robinson's now scored ten goals, of course. That's the bench across there, not for Sindon. Sindon is a different area entirely. Uh, we haven't had many Sindonos. Five altogether. But Hearts looking comfortable. Just over four minutes remaining of the first half. Mitchell. Well, they got the free kick for that. It was a bit of Brian Grant. How about these youngsters haven't sparkled in the last couple of games? A little bit of that zest and enthusiasm. That's a very good ball indeed. Cahoon was coming in. Grant and Cahoon surely falling. Yes. Free kick. Noticed it was a green white you saw there in that uh, quick shot of the crowd. Some supporters have stayed right to the end, even though they were knocked out uh, very early on. The uh, supporters have simply enjoyed the football, not the result that the team got. And this is what has made a marvellous atmosphere in this hall. You never see a ball from supporters, you don't get two hoots about the result. They certainly do, it's a matter of life and death for some of them. But they've stayed and enjoyed the football. Three kicks to Aberdeen. Just under two minutes remaining in the first half. Oh, much too obvious a tag by Aberdeen. Mitchell is up. Oh, it's a beautiful goal. That's much, much better. Now, watch the strength of Paul Wright's shot. Just when it seemed as if they couldn't get a glimpse of goal at all, Henry Smith, very agile though he is, couldn't stop that one. Andy Watson makes a game of it now. What does it? It's a good save. Ace is all over the shot though. Right on, but in there's a header and just away. Excellent play. We're off back of the heels. Uh, I think they may have thought that they just kept possession and kept to the game was uh, well in the pocket, but suddenly that goal has weakened Aberdeen and Hearts have responded, trying to kill them off and getting that third goal. Just under a minute and a half to half time. Only one goal in it. Sanderson. There's a dead ringer for Neil Berry. Robinson has. Well, there you are. Ticking down to the halftime floor again. I will send it to C. The clock is suspended right above the players, by the way. Joe Miller. Yes, a rebound almost coming away by Sanderson. Now, Gary Mackay is on the right. With a half a minute, Gary Mackay just off the post. He angled that beautifully. Jim Layton was in a very good position indeed. Certainly difficult to put away, but he made a very best of it, Mackay, with that right foot of his. And 
there goes the halftime floor with uh, that 39 lead now. Hawks look as if they would uh, take the commanding heights and they kick the game from there, but not a bit of it. Good fight back there, and, uh, an excellent goal by Paul Wright. Well, there's Jim Layton. I think he's got enough experience to talk to players and tell them exactly what to do, even though it's a different kind of game to what they used to. And I think they're coming across for a rest. Certainly on the one with the manager. Well, the tactics, of course, have been uh, to keep the pressure on. And I know it's absolutely essential for players to have a breather. Roy Aiken was talking to me and he said the best thing was simply to get a player off when he looked tired, get somebody on very quickly. But the crowd have enjoyed it. They really have. Now then, there's a man. Do you recognize him? Beach Grove Guard man, Jim McCall. I wonder what his professional opinion would be of the playing pitch. I must ask him afterwards. Certainly he's trying to make lawns all over the country like the playing pitch out there. And that's a wonderful view of this marvellous hall in the exhibition centre as we're about to start the second half. Two goals to one. Arts and Elite. Well, that's a quick start again by Hearts. Oh, that's a brilliant save of Robertson. Oh, they're all over the shop, Aberdeen. And thank you very much, Ms. Layton, off the wall. Look at it. Now, watch the strike, the Aberdeen defence. That's a superb save. Now, he really should have had better cover, but he didn't get it. Thomas will walk on his own, Jim Layton. Scorer of that Aberdeen goal. Almost picked up. Well, so far we've walked out the average and we've had uh, five and a half goals a game. How do you get half a goal in a game, I can hear you say. Well, that's what averages are. This is Gary Mackay. Look at Robertson. The art of coaching is something that is of uh, top priority in this game. That was just a legal pass and no more. Not allowed to put it right down the length of the court. Much too short for the pass. And I think I did mention that particularly the young players haven't shown the Christmas that they did earlier on. Aberdeen opened the tournament impressively. Can I have seen the bit stodgy? By comparison with the performances of yesterday, that is. Sanderson. Bill Berry's look alike. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. That is a cut. Whatever happened to Jim Layton? It was always a game of pass the parcel between them. Somehow or other, the ball hypnotized him up and went with the left foot. Up the forehead. We won. Aberdeen's defense almost non-existent. The game itself needs a fight back, let alone uh, Aberdeen. Seem a bit deflated now. And it's still just under seven and a half minutes remaining. Swept away. Sanderson of Berry. It's Berry this time. There's a follow-up. What a brilliant save from Black. Ah, oh, that's better. More like Jim Layton. All the very slack. I like the cliche. No one for Aberdeen and John McMass for the more experienced players. There's McLeish. Still has a chance. John McMaster, and it's the ball, yes. Hill Simpson. 3 2, Aberdeen fighting back. 
Celtics don't try to walk out in this game with the Celtics supporters are backing. I think it just may be about Dean in this instance. Back whistle thing, and it was Neil Simpson gathering it for the left, putting it in with the right. 3 2. Goes back to Dean. But giving it away. Astonishing performance by this Aberdeen defense. And Mackay gets it again. Was Neil Berry. Oh, that brilliantly saved again by Leighton. Some Leighton seems to be going through a training session with somebody to take pity on him. And half of the highest goal scorers are going to collect a thousand pounds. But he's doing his job to equalize it. Suddenly we have a game again. There's Paul, the youngster Jimmy said there might have been, just might have been a deflection there. And the heart defense were annoyed with themselves. And this was the kind of situation which we all look forward to as the culmination of this tournament. What a face of Mitchell. Although much less worried than there was two minutes ago, that's for sure. And Lincoln has performed miracles. He's at his very best. After that, what a dreadful slip up to see that goal. He's been quite superb. Kenny Black will rattle it in, and Lincoln is there again. Well, if the goalkeepers were vying for the title of the best of the tournament, I, I had suggested Michaela has been very reliable, but for sheer brilliance, it now must go to Lincoln. Black. Mackay, superb reverse pass, and there's Lincoln, and he wants the counter-attack started from there. Right. McMaster, Simpson, What's on a bad ball? Oh, it's brilliantly saved by Henry Smith. <laughs> he blows out his cheeks. He just blown out the microphone. Hit it wet, yes. Neatly done. Right following up. Ah, here's a chance. Right. Fortieth. Just to the side. An inspired Aberdeen side now. Goes down there delicately. No penalty, no, no, no. Loud shouts from behind that goal. But Kahuna got into the goalkeeper's zone, but no. It hadn't, and in any case, the whistle has gone. An extremely exciting finish to this now. There's an empty George Smith. Poised on top of the spot to beat them to heart. Just under three minutes remaining. Three all. Playing for the judge is more important than that. Look at the speed. Right is there. It's got him. Aberdeen have taken the lead. The two youngsters up front. There was Miller. Tremendous speed. And there was Wright. 4-3. That's right hand trick. Hart's now got to fight hard to get back into this. 
a go. The holders fighting bravely for their trophy. Now Kenny Black. And he was called Gaspique. Less than one and a half minutes remaining. There we go. Play recommences. Kenny Black. Amity closing them down better. Oh, they were schooling and jostling there on the referee. Right knee. Gives the Sundgren to Sanderson. And look at the time. Heading away for Hart. 4-3 for Amity. Precious little for the Edinburgh side to save them. And at this stage, Amity... Look as if they're going to retain that trophy. A very handsome trophy and a very handsome white track it was too. A good step by the Aberdeen side but it looks so shaded early on. And better to get a card for I think Kenny Black. Yes, Kenny Black going to the sim bin and the clock has stopped. So Kenny Black goes in there. So Hart, I've got to get an equaliser, and the amount of seconds left with four men. The clock has stopped. A little bit of confusion reading there about what actually happened, but uh, well, there were two men sent for the Simpson, and the Aberdeen players are actually counting. Yes, there's one extra man on. It's going to be. Four players. I think there was also a substitution, and Hearts have to have a player off. I don't think the referee is too happy with the way the goal was slammed at his face. Not very nearly. Also, a slight damage to double glazing. And so, back we go. And where's the clock? There it is. Looks like Aberdeen's championship. The crowd are punching with them. And the Soccer Sixties trophy goes back to the top lane. I put my money in Aberdeen right at the start. I did have occasional doubts on the trip along to the final. But their fight back was a justification of the faith placed in them. Not, of course, 